Assalamualaikum. We are from Group 4 will present case study about chipping away at Intel. First of all, thank you for Sir Muhammad Faiz Ben Ismail, lecturer for ADS 607 Managing Change. Before we start, let me introduce our team. First, myself, Nur Hamida, Nur Farah Ain, Azmira, Siti Mariam, and Mama Kairi. This case study have 10 questions, which is divided by two parts. Part 1, 7 question and part 2, 3 question. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Asmira. Today I would like to present about the case study. Then uh, our topic is chipping away at Intel. Okay, for the first uh, question number one is about what were the different changes at Intel over the first three years of Barrett's tenure. Okay, for the answer is uh, Barrett is known to have transitioned Intel from producing uh, micro uh, microprocessors for PCs to producing computer and technology devices and network. And then uh, he also caused Intel companies to leave from the manufacture of network uh, routers and, uh, and servers to close e-commerce services to are mostly effective by the global economy, downturn in general. The third one is, um, Barrett argues Intel needs to restructure the company's internal system uh, to avoid duplication and has created better company management coordination. And the next one is, uh, he also made the company allow for decentralization and delegation of making every decision. He also made investment in new areas and expert ideas to expand his branding in the global arena. And the last one is, he also creates Intel's highly versatile and restructured the corporation to prevent it from the duplicate, from being replicated. And then, but several of the initiatives are failed. Okay, for the question number two is, of the environmental pressure for change discussed in this chapter, fashion mandates geopolitical declining markets, hyper-competition and corporate reputation, which ones were experienced by Intel? First is fashion. Intel has followed the fashion of other organizations by joining the popular markets in the information technology industry. For mandate, there is no mandate to make Intel change. Geopolitics. The terrorist was attacked on September 11th and during this moment of transition, the Intel have affected share price uh, at a uh, share price and generally unstable market economy conditions have triggered changes. And a uh, declining market, uh, Intel entered new, ma new markets and diversified their offerings when Intel's long established PC chip market began to decline. And then hyper competition, the rapid rate of change in the information technology industry has caused Intel to compete with other companies' uh, products and this has resulted to relatively slow growth than comp competitors in technology. And the last one, corporate uh, reputation, uh, the Bar uh, Barrett's one Intel companies to move their minds to shift their focus to better cu customer rela uh, relationship and apart from viewpoint of being the only rivalry in the industry. So there we analyze that the Intel faces industry uh, faces indirect stress to shift uh, to shift such as fashion, geopol geopolitics, uh, weakening industry, uh, intense competition and business fame. So that's all. Thank you. My name is Nur Farah Aibeta Batarmizi. I will continue for the question 3 and question 4. So for the question 3, the question is of the internal organizational pressure for change discussed in this chapter that are associated with organizational change, growth, integration and collaboration, re-establishment of organizational identities, new room and power, and political pressures, which one were experienced within Intel? So the answer is the demand for fast modem connection rather than the speed of computer chip which was Intel area of expertise was one of the pressure that the company faced. Packful from advanced micro device and other chip manufacturers also put pressures on Intel to shift necessitating the transition in order to maintain Intel profit and relevant. Slow business environment, the decreased market was another change force at Intel. The threat of conflict with Iraq served as the geopolitical impetus for change within Intel, which required such adjustment. Pressure from integration and collaboration. Organizational identity had to be recognized as a result of the necessity to adjust Intel culture and prevent some business units from competing with one another. 
the reason behind Intel progress of a coming challenge was the necessity of growth and the need for a fresh broom to implement improvement at Intel. The question for are there other external of internal pressure for change that you can identify? So the answer is for an organization to remain and grow, it must engage with its external environment. They receive input from the environment, transform it through multiple process, and then export the result back into it. There were many internal organizations that pushed for change at Intel. Firstly, there were cheap shortage and product delay at the company. The second one is there were also issue of excessive pricing and product recall, which only served to harm Intel brand and good name. Intel had to deal with internal conflict of interest in order to prevent duplication of service and resources, as well as computer issues that affect the system and result in issues. So that's it from me. Thank you. The overall conclusion of why Barrett can make change to the Intel company is because Barrett hope it can increase Intel sales profits and also want to expand Intel market into only by relying on processor product and producing chips but also the production of information and communication equipment accessories and internet service online. Another reason Barrett brought about the organization change was to unite and improve industry relationship within the organization. Barrett's decision through the company restructuring is much needed in the in that regard and will allow for decentralization and delegation in decision making so that the company will be more vigilant and coordinate in the future. From the article, the pressure for change that Barrett may face in the types of industry in the future require, requires that Intel continue to produce new products that meet the standard and can meet market demands. This is because the environment is always changing, so they should always keep up to date with the latest technology. Barrett must also have innovative and efficient employees within its organization to ensure its products is sustainable and always up to date. If it fails to do so, of this, this organization will lose its market shares and profit opportunity as competitors will work harder and harder to offer their customer the best product and will capture the largest market shares. And they will always be faced with manufacturing quality product and they need to maintain their status in the industry so their customer don't drop out and remain loyal to their product. From our analysis, our advice is that Barrett can highlight areas that need more attention and focus on change in those areas to address the stress problem face. First and foremost, Barrett needs to stay on track and rely on the advisors and consultants available within the company to assist in his decision making. Indirectly, the pressure face can be overcome as best as possible. Other than that, CC recognized that Intel must broaden its approach in attempt to survive competitive and profitable. He must execute sensible judgment and enhance in commitment to reform the company's administration and improve its investment strategy. Thus, our three duration and strategy every few months does not provide the desired sustained transformation. Then, the cooperation investment in freshly developed research and manufacturing endorsed Will, will be cornerstone and for Intel's company performance and we recommend that his position and his reputation as a dynamic and proactive future leader. Question number one for part two is what the new pressures for change face bearer in the last half of his tenure? My answer is through the latter part 
of Barrett's career as CEO of an Intel firm, he encountered challenges such as a diminished image and trustworthiness. Given the fact that Intel is a huge international technology corporation, he opted to perform several changes. He has Envador to remain a top chip maker, and Intel's ambition is for the future's outstanding Ethereum CPU. However, the market for Ethereum is lower than he anticipated. They have also been successful by introducing set Centrino's mobile technology and indirectly the existing flash memory business. Additionally, his company has tried Manitoba processor which are still unused. They need to refine their strategy to continue to remain lead leading innovators. The last question is question number 2 in part 2, which is how did he respond to these pressures? My answer is, first Barrett reacted to his pressure by launching another restructuring of his company as well as a shift in a plan by cancelling the Pentium 4. The restructuring of this business units will ensure systematic work throughout the organization. The restructuring of the company is based on the principle of online service which is ongoing to succeed if it is not guided by strong innovative quality business ideas and strategies on time. The new Intel CEO who will take over after Barrett is Paul Ottilin and he will face the biggest obstacle to ensuring this transformation move in more optimistic and dynamic path in, in the future. Then the pressure in the Intel company faced while holding Barrett position affected a huge volume of confusion that caused in a huge number of change. He will indirectly be capable to maintain their company's reputation at and the top of the business despite the consequence of this trade. Domestic and foreign challenge require a good vision and strategy in order to gain goals. It will constantly be the potential of stress and the company's response to it will determine its future direction. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Hairi Fazli. I will continue to present uh, part 2, question number 3. If you were Paul Otelini coming in as a new CEO, would you change anything and why? My answer will be I will stand aside given that, that Barrett's action relate with Intel's recent and potential market. I will examine which of the implemented modification and method were successful and which were not. After re-evaluating everything, I will determine what if any additional major and little modifications are necessary. Intel's PC processor continue to be profitable in the current market. Intel must continually develop the processor so that the cash cow continues generate, generate the re revenues. Future intelligence has a potential market in the mobile phones. It may be observed in the mobile phone growth charts from the last uh, decade. Intel, Intel just needs to locate suitable CPUs for mobile phone technology on the rise. Therefore, the interaction between users and management is to hear their complaints, suggestions and ideas. As Paul Otellini, one of the reform I will implement is the appointment of specialists in the existing departments to anticipate the progress an extension of each division, while Barrett did utilize internal managers to oversee the operations of the new business departments. Using specialists can ensure a more significant profit margin due to the expertise in the firms. We move to the last part, which is the conclusion. The challenge Intel experienced during Barrett's leadership result in a great deal of volatility that led to a great deal of change. Regardless of these threats, he was able to maintain its market dominance. The method in which a company responds to many forms of pressure that it will certainly face in the future will determine the course that it will take. A good strategy and plan are required to be successful in the face of domestic and foreign demands. Mr. Otellini's statements that Intel supplies the fundamental components such as wireless connectivity future science technology of architectures enabling solutions that increase productivity almost anytime and everywhere. Due to innovative 
production technology, the business offers its consumers advanced engineering product at a lower price. Considering competition from other computer firms, the corporation had to deal with challenging business circumstances and restricted chances for financial growth. However, expected to its potential, Intel is now a position to develop. Intel Corporation new strategies, objective, and strategic planning are well aligned. Paul Otellini Reform the company to concentrate its multi and microprocessor business on healthcare technology, virtual environment, corporate and mobile device. Intel is the leading corporation worldwide in terms of total e-commerce revenue. Intel received an average of 1 billion in online monthly orders for client worldwide. Based on the implemented tactics, 50% of Intel direct customer business is now using Intel products. According to our analysis, Barrett's modifications were required for Intel to remain profitable and competitive in the market. Therefore, Intel was in critical needs of transformation to overcome obstacles caused by prevailing force impacting the corporations. The more significant factors included firms avoiding identity, networking and communications, shifting from profit-driven to a customer-focused culture, and surviving rivalry. Intel has also been challenged by the need to adapt to an ever-changing environment by unstable economic expansion and declining customer demands. These concerns were significantly because they harm the company market's perceptions and revenue. That is all from our group 4. Thank you.